Many years ago, a prominent author told a story about taking away his son's driver's license. The boy had just turned 16 years old and the mom and dad told him, if you get pulled over for speeding, we will take away your license. Message heard loud and clear, but a few months in, the boy got pulled over. He was speeding and he got a ticket. Now the boy felt so sorry. He apologized profusely. He really sincerely felt bad for speeding and getting that ticket. And in seeing his sincere apology, the mom and dad reasoned between themselves that maybe we should let him keep his license. Maybe we should give him a pass this time. But right before they did, right before they let the boy keep his license, the father remembered something that would affect his relationship with his son forever. He remembered that if he went back on his word, his word that he would take the license if the boy got a ticket, that he would actually lose his son's trust. His son would begin to lose trust in the father's ability to keep even his smallest promises. And so the father took away the license. And sure, in the short term, the son would have been elated to keep his license, but in the long term, he would have lost trust in his dad. Instead, the dad took the license. The boy wasn't happy in the short term, but it was those little moments that allowed this father to raise a stalwart young man as a son. Trust is won and lost in those little moments. It's not always the epic betrayals that you see on television. It's not always the big grandiose promises that we make and fail to keep. Heck, oftentimes people don't even believe our big grandiose promises because we have to start small. No, trust is won and lost in the little moments. It's won and lost in the tiny moments where we have the opportunity to show people that we will do what we say we will do. Now, how does this apply to you as a home service contractor? Well, we're a training company. And one of the things that we see all the time in the training space is home service contractors who invest in these big, epic, amazing training opportunities. Everybody's so excited and inspired and they take these wonderful notes but then the notes go in a filing cabinet somewhere to collect dust. And there's no real plan in place for holding people accountable to what they learned. So what happens? Employees begin to believe that training only happens when things are bad. They start to resent it like a little kid resents piano lessons. Business owners and managers start to walk around the office looking over people's shoulders. They pretend they're checking in when in reality, they're looking for their people to make a mistake. And their people aren't stupid. We can feel when this is happening. And of course, coaching only happens when people make mistakes. So it's not received well. Again, people start to resent it. If you want your people to trust you, you've got to do the little things right. You've got to set up a regular plan for training and coaching your people no matter what. Everyone gets training all the time, regardless of performance. The best and the worst among us. It doesn't matter if you're doing well or if you're doing poorly, you still get training on a regular basis. You know when it's gonna happen, you know how it's gonna happen. This is what leads to trust. This is what leads to a culture where people embrace training and improvement. If you have the kind of culture where people resist your feedback and where you feel like training them actually makes them dislike you, that's a sign of one of two things. Either one, you've got the wrong people on the bus, or number two, you need to be more consistent. You need to be better at earning your people's trust. Because the time will come, I promise, when you will be tempted, just like the father and mother of the 16-year-old boy, to give them a pass. You will be tempted to say, not this time. It's okay. Next time, we'll follow through on what we said. But those are precisely the moments when people either give you their trust or take it away.